Hi and welcome to ACR online tutorial for GST changes effective the 1st of October 2010. Um, these changes we recommend that you do on the eve of the changes or on the morning of the changes before you open for trade. The team at ACR are going to be open until 1, they're going to be at the present of the office until 1am on the eve of the GST changes and will be in the office from 8am on October the 1st to assist you uh, if you need assistance. Uh, before we continue, the first thing we must do is, is uh, make a backup of our system. This is very important. If you can't do a backup of the system for any reason, you must please call us on 09358-0165. To do the backup, we, uh, we, you should have a repair and backup icon on your desktop. If it's been deleted, you can find it by going to Start, Programs, Task Manager Software, uh, Repair and Backup here. So we'll double click repair and backup. Make sure that um, your three tick boxes are ticked by each of your applications here. Uh, you can browse the folder you want to place the backup in. So we're going to go to C folder. I'm going to put this in the task pos directory. Uh, and we're going to click OK. Click local backup gives it a uh, backup name by default, but we'll call this pre-GST, OK. OK, we restart the task manager. OK. First thing we're going to do, just to reiterate the the backup, if, if for any reason you couldn't do the backup, please uh, give us a call and we'll walk you through getting a backup done. So click to go to admin, go to site preferences, under general task connect we want to change the tax rate to 15%. This is the section that actually sends the, uh, the tax rate down to your front end system. Then under tax setup, just two steps above that, we change this to 15%. This is the section that um, by default creates your supplier invoices with the correct GST. So don't forget to do these two. Once we've done that, we go to products, category details. Uh, this is a system that's uh, used um, all across the world and uh, you take an Australian example, they have different GST rates um, for different types of products. So each one of your categories um, comes with its own um, tax rate, which means that we're going to change um, all the categories to 15% individually. So go through all your categories, change them to 15% and save. Next we're going to uh, use the update pricing wizard to easily and quickly change our prices to the new GST rate. So go to products, update pricing. I'm on a later version of task manager so I have the option to, to build a list. Uh, some of you on, on older versions of task manager won't have the option to build lists. You will get by default a, a list built for you with all of your products. So and click on build list. Here I can choose the, the groups that I want to um, I want to include in my, my list build. Uh, I can choose it by groups or I can choose it by categories. Um, the GST changes apply to all products so I'm going to choose um, everything and click finish. So the system has, uh, has built the, the list uh, for me. Now we're going to do a multiplication formula. Uh, and the, so here it's um, we say multiply. Uh, we're going to um, multiply from the normal price level or price level one or your default price level, which is here. Uh, the formula is going to be 1.0222. Again, some of you on on older versions won't be able to uh, um, put in. Um, all five digits, you'll only be able to put in three digits, so in your case you'll be putting in 1.02. The price level that we're going to update um, is normal. Now here we have our existing prices and here is where the system is going to show us what our new prices are. 
so we can see what the new prices are before we actually uh, commit. So once we're happy that you, and you've got these settings uh, correct, click the apply formula. The formula that we want is quick service rounding. We have the option of round up or uh, round up and down. I'm going to choose round up and down which is going to provide an, an average um, and or you've got the option of rounding everything up. Here you can select the um, default rounding. We recommend uh, well, most of you we imagine are going to be uh, working to 10 cents but uh, for example you could change it to, to 5 cents. Click finish, apply formula now. Here we can see that the, the pricing formula, this is, this is the, the new price, here's an example of the, of the existing price. So you may want to go through, you've got the option to go through before you commit it and manually override um, these prices. So instead of $18.90 you may want to just update that to $19. Um, here's the old price, uh, pint makes gold, uh, this could be uh, one of your, your competitive items, you may want to keep that at um, at eight dollars okay so work through this list manually adjust the prices as you want them once you're happy uh, click on this little down tab beside commit and you want to update the product prices okay again before you do this um, this is not to be done prior to the the GST changeover do this on the eve of the GST changeover once you've closed or in the morning before the GST changeover before you open Update the product prices now. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so we're done. Let's go and check our work. Go to products. Add modify search. Uh, as you can see, the change, the price changes have worked perfectly. Uh, we're at fourteen dollars, nineteen dollars, as as we just as we just saw. So once we're happy with that, we go to the update manager. We select all and we perform a full update to the terminals. So fantastic, the place has been completed. Uh, we're ready to trade under the, the, new, the new tax regime. Uh, thanks for watching the tutorial. Again, if you have any issues, you can't perform a repair and backup, or if you get stuck, or even if you're not even sure, please uh, call the team at ACR on 09 358 we'll be there till 1am on the eve of the tax changes and we'll be there from 8 o'clock on the day of the tax changes thanks for watching